Good morning, folks of the YouTube. Today is Thursday, May 7th. It is my off day from work. I thought I would film today a full day of eating, basically a full day of tracked eating, because I have not tracked my food in its entirety in a couple months now. Probably, honestly, I think the last time I tracked my food was well before we got into this quarantine, stay at home, um, lockdown scenario. I don't, I, probably the last time I tracked my food was sometime in February, to be honest. Now what I mean by track is like, I literally track every single thing that I eat and consume or drink in a day in my fitness pal. That's a, that's a macro tracking app that I personally use. I've measured things like here and there, but just to kind of give me a roundabout idea of like how much protein, because protein is like usually my number one, protein is my number one macro that I aim to to hit every day so um, I would just measure like different portions of my proteins here and there but for the most part I've basically been eating intuitively I've been doing this for so long I've tracked my food for so long I have a lot of experience in just nutritional values and tracking food that I can eyeball things and have a pretty good roundabout about you know how much I'm consuming how much I'm eating so I just haven't personally done that in a while and so I thought today would be a fun day just to kind of track as I go of kind of an idea of like what I've been eating or how I've been eating daily. So I woke up this morning and already showed you what I had for breakfast. I didn't discuss it with you like in real time during the video because it was early. Because I woke up this morning, I, I slept in a little bit. I slept in till six o'clock and was just sleeping in for me for those of you who know me. And I was just really tired and I was just, I was just like not ready to talk yet. And so I just thought, well, at least I'll just film what I did this morning and then I'll just talk about it later. because. I was awake, but I just was not like that morning person yet where I could just have a conversation and be presentable. I just wanted to make my coffee, enjoy my morning time, and eat breakfast and just kind of be like, mm, just be in my own like peace and tranquility space. <laughs> so, but I'm awake. I'm, I'm not full. I don't feel fully energized. I will say I, I feel like extra tired today. I'm a naturally energized person, but sometimes during the work week, I just kind of hit like a wall and I'm just realized like how tired I am. And today has been that day. Um, again, it's Thursday. It's towards the end of the work week and I work all weekend, uh, Friday through Monday. So I'm just kind of like, you know, I have no idea what I'm going to get into today, what the plans are. But yeah, so anyways, I already showed you what I ate for breakfast. And just to kind of give you a breakdown of how much all of that was from the coffee I made to the very last thing that I ate. All together, including like all my meals and drinks that I had for the morning, is 73 carbs, 19 fat, and 35 protein. So pretty crazy that all that together is such a high carb breakfast I will say because I did eat a bagel and usually bagels on average are at least 50 carbs if you eat like a full whole bagel so that part's not surprising just to see all the additional extra like carbs that I did have for the entire morning came out to 73 carbs Ooh, that's a large breakfast for me because usually usually I would say on average my breakfast is probably like 30 to 40 grams of carbs but either way I digress this is not really about hitting any set of numbers other than my protein my protein again is always the source that I try to eat try to hit. I usually try to eat at least 130 to 140 grams of protein. So that is something that I will make sure I do hit today. And then where the rest falls, the rest will just fall for day. Again, it is my off day. I do work um, a four day weekend work stretch. So I don't really have any plans for today. Pretty much going to have like a pretty lazy, easy going off day. I feel like I deserve it. I may like you know, do something productive, like kind of pick up or clean up around the house, maybe do a little bit of laundry here and there, but nothing. I don't have anything planned. I do need to do some more wedding planning stuff. Yeah, I just really just don't have anything planned for today, and I think that's okay sometimes because, as I mentioned, I don't get many off days from work, and when I do, it's always a toss-up of and do I be productive or do I actually take this time to relax and recharge and just kind of re-energize so I can go back into the work day just fully like as much clarity and as much energy and as I can. And sometimes just depending on the work week, it takes a it takes a lot for me to just truly detach from work and not bring the anxiety or the stressors from my job to home. Like yesterday in particular, yesterday wasn't a bad day. There's just some like conversations that I had that just kind of stirred up some just kind of stress and anxiety and a little bit of animosity towards just kind of things that's like going on in our particular store in pharmacy. 
that it just kind of really weighed on me and on into when I got off work and got home yesterday. And so I tried and tried. I'm so horrible. Like, I'm so bad about dwelling on like one little thing that it shouldn't mean that much to me, but sometimes it just does. And as much as I like try to convince myself about it, try to pray about it, sometimes it just like just weighs heavy on me and it just bothers me. So I woke up this morning feeling so much better about the situation. So I'm really happy for that. And that's why it's so important to really give yourself just some time off from work and really try to just leave work at work and really just detach as best you can. Um, leave all the burdens and stress and anxieties as best you can away so it doesn't affect your home life, your mental health, you know, just so it doesn't just bleed into your life and just suck all that joy away from you. And I really, really have been trying to work on that a lot this year. So anyways, I digress. Again, I don't know what this, what I'm going to be doing in this video. I just know I'm just going to be showing you like a full day of eating and of tracking since I have been doing that. Speaking of which, of all this quarantine time now, if you're new to this channel, I am a pharmacist, so I have, I am a central worker. I've always been a central worker. I will always be an essential worker. So nothing has really changed for me during this time of pandemic or crisis that's going around the world. My routine has basically been the same. Nothing's really changed for me. And I joke, and I, I don't mean this lightheartedly for anyone else's like life or circumstances or how it's affected them, but really and truly, like, it does not feel like a pandemic for me in my personal life because, again, nothing has changed. I still get up. I have the same routine. I still go to work. Um, only the biggest difference for me has been I just work out at home now. I don't actually go to the gym right now since they're closed. So nothing's changed for me. So in terms of my eating habits for this quarantine life, I will say until recently, we have not gone out to eat this entire time. Even though, you know, restaurants are shut down, restaurants are still doing, you know, curbside pickup or uh, to-go orders or whatnot. So you still have that capability, but really and truly until recently, I think last week or the week before was the first time in almost two months of this that's been going on that we have eaten out because we have really been just eating everything at home. I've been a lot more diligent about my grocery shopping and like really kind of preparing from week to week, you know, how what we're going to eat and how much can last us and just kind of getting more creative with what I have on hand to make meals. And so we've honestly been eating almost 100% at home this whole time. And with that, for me personally, I think it's actually affected me better. I know some people will have like a different effect or different response from this. I have seen both sides. I've seen some people that are actually eating a lot healthier and being more mindful and diligent about their choices about what they cook and make and eat at home. And then on the other side, I've seen a lot of people that have just kind of used this as an excuse to just eat a bunch of just junk food and not really eat with their health in mind or the best of how they could be eating. For me personally, I feel like I've done, I've been more consistent about being in control of what I cook and what I consume. I wouldn't necessarily say that I've been eating healthier because I think that's a very relative or arbitrary term to say because health it means different to a lot of people. For me personally, I follow flexible dieting. So basically I eat whatever I want as long as I'm staying within my numbers. With that being said, I still eat about 80, 90% whole foods and then have some like play kind of junk food thrown in there. We just haven't eaten out a whole lot. I've been cooking a lot more here in terms of making meals for Cody and I and I've been using a lot of Home Chef. I, I use a lot of Home Chef in general because Kroger where I shop at for grocery stores they actually are contracted with Home Chef so they have like a whole grocery section that's only Home Chef meals that they have there weekly like new meals that you can go and pick up just grab and go. But I've also recently just subscribed because I got a coupon from Kroger for subscribing to Home Chef online so I've been having three meals delivered per week and so I've been cooking at least three good home meals for Cody and I per week. It's definitely been more of a positive change for us personally in terms of we're just eating at home a lot more and not that we even ate out a whole lot because it for us we we really and truly compared to the average human I would say we don't eat out a whole lot but there were times that where we'd go through phases where we would kind of just out of laziness and just out of convenience we would go pick up something from one of our favorite restaurants here in Auburn but none of that has happened and I was thinking about it the other day and I have not gone to Starbucks or had a Starbucks in over two months and that's definitely a streak for me and not even that I'm an avid Starbucks consumer 
but just the sheer fact that I truly have not gotten a Starbucks coffee or food item in over two months and that's crazy to me. <laughs> but I just want to give you an example of kind of how I've been eating. And so that's what I'm going to show you today. It's actually a little past 10.30 right now. I've got to do some things on the computer really quick. I am already kind of hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and make a snack, and I'm going to show you what that is. For my snack, I show these a lot in my videos, but I'm having a cup of this red grapefruit, the no sugar added. These are so nice and convenient. It's um, zero fat, only one gram of protein, and only 15 carbs, but the no sugar added are sweet enough as they are, so that's the one I like to get, so I'm going to eat a cup of that. I found these the other day. They're by Sargento. They're these little snack bites. They have different cheese assortments, but the one I got was the rustic gouda and mild yellow cheddar. The macros on it for a little portion size is pretty good. It's only 9 grams of fat, less than 1 carb, and 7 grams of protein. So it's a little higher in fat, but that's okay. Um, as a female and not any type of restrictive cut, um, keeping my fats high is very important to me for my health and my hormones. So I'm okay with having a little bit higher fat diet um, overall. So, But these are really nice and convenient. And then the other thing is an extra protein source. I went ahead and measured out 1 ounce of this beef jerky. And this beef jerky I found at Kroger is really good. It's by one of the brands, their private selections. It's the Carne Asada Beef Jerky. Let's see, citrus, cilantro, and jalapeno kick. And it's really good. It really does taste like Mexican like flank steak, but it's like in beef jerky form. But this is going to be my little snack for right now, grapefruit, cheese, and beef jerky. And then in the My Fitness Pal app, that comes out to 20 carbs, 10 fat and 19 protein. So a good macro breakdown of a mid-morning snack. It's almost 1.15 and I really have not been doing a whole lot of anything. I really am truly just being kind of a lazy bum today. I did some computer work, but I keep getting distracted on my phone and I'm not usually like that, but I keep getting like distracted and before I know it, unnecessary time has already passed. And here we are, it's past one o'clock and I just haven't really done anything. <laughs> But I am getting ready to make lunch. I'm going to make a salad that I've really been enjoying lately. So I wanted to show you all the ingredients that I'm putting in it. So the base of my salad consists of this baby spring mix that I got from Kroger. I am going to chop up half of an ambrosia apple. I'll chop up about the tablespoon of these pecans, of chopped pecans. I've got some chicken thighs here that I cooked in the air fryer a couple of days ago. I went ahead and chopped up three ounces of it, which I'm actually going to put back in the air fryer just to heat it up and kind of crisp it up a little bit. I don't like my meats to be cold in my salad. I kind of like a warm meat on my salad. I just don't like cold meats personally. And then I'm going to top it with these goat cheese crumbles. And then this is the salad dressing that I've been using by um, Simply Dressed. It's this basil balsamic vinaigrette that's really tasty. So I'm going to put my chicken in the air fryer for a couple of minutes, chop up my apple and my pecans, and I'm going to throw this all together and I'll show you the end product. Got my big salad here with it all thrown together super yummy and I'm just back here on the couch in front of my heater it's like 70 degrees outside but it's so freaking cold in my house so I've got my trusty heater going on right here got my salad watching a little TV and Slater staring at me and I almost forgot to tell you all the macros for the meal because I think that's kind of the point of this video today but for the entire salad meal it's 18 carbs 31 fat and 27 grams of protein it's the middle of the afternoon and my hair is just getting crazier and crazier. I haven't even redone it. I haven't even taken it down and brushed it since I rolled out of bed today. So there's that. Well, that's a typical home life for, for Kells over here. But anyways, um, just got done with a walk. Me and Slater went on a 45 minute walk outside. It's such a beautiful day outside. It's not very hot like it has been. It's only, I think the high today was like only like 71 degrees. And so it's a clear blue skies. It's bright and sunny, warm, kind of mild weather, but with a cool crisp breeze in the air. We just got done with our walk and not really a whole lot going on still. I'm just feeling really drawn to just sit down and catch up on my Bible study. When I have my days off if I do have time I say if I have time really if it's a priority of in my day I can make time for it so that's just an excuse for when you say I don't have time 
but I'm feeling really drawn just to really get in the word and do like an official Bible study. I listen to my Bible study a lot. I don't always get out like my Bible or my notes and actually take notes, but I'm just feeling really pushed to do that. So I feel like God's like, you should sit down and listen to this. So that's what I'm about to do right now. But to accommodate that, I'm going to make me an iced coffee, actually an iced whipped coffee. I'm sure most of y'all have seen this thing out there that's so popular called whipped coffee. I found like a recipe and I kind of tweaked it and made it my own and it's actually really delicious. I actually prefer it over my normal iced coffee. And so that's what I've been making a lot lately. So I thought I would show y'all what I do for that. Okay, so the ingredients that I personally use is this Nescafe Toaster's Choice. It's a house blend. Instant coffee. I think it has to be instant coffee, or at least that's what all the people have been doing or the ingredients I've been seeing. So instant coffee, I do two teaspoons of that. So two teaspoons of that. I use just one packet of Truvia sugar. And then for my milk, I use the Carb Master just plain milk. Originally, I was using the vanilla flavored Carbester this, but the last time I went to Kroger, they were out of the vanilla flavor, so that's why I have original this time. I do prefer the vanilla flavor because then that way I don't have to add any extra flavor or sweetness to it. But since I have an original one, I've just been adding about five milliliters of this uh, Jordan Skinny Syrup Vanilla Caramel Creme. I don't really care for these, that's why I still have, I have many flavors of these, but I have barely any of them used because honestly, they're very chemically tasting if I'm being honest. And so I don't really use it a whole lot, but like just the tiniest splash of this is okay. And it works well with the whole combination of this working out. So again, that's just what I personally use. So I always have some sort of mixing ball, I usually just use a measuring cup. And then I use my little aero latte that's like it's like a, milk, a handheld milk frother and then i do five tablespoons of warm water so in the background you probably hear it i have my hot faucet going so i measure out two teaspoons of the instant coffee one two into my measuring cup then i'm going to do five teaspoons of this hot water over here and then i'm going to dump my sugar packet in here and then all you do is turn your milk frother on you can actually use a whisk too, but I don't have a whisk that's like small enough to beat something like this or whisk something like this, but you just do it enough until you get a frothy consistency. I've seen all kinds of consistencies on this whipped coffee. I've seen it where some people's look like pudding, which I think that's, I think you get that consistency when you use pure raw sugar and a lot of it, like two tablespoons worth. And I'm, I'm sorry, but that's a lot of sugar and that's entirely too sweet for me. So this, to me, this ratio that I'm showing you is actually the perfect amount that I have personally found. But yeah, I just mix this up and then I pour eight ounces of this Carb Master because that's a serving size. It's zero fat, three carbs, and 11 grams of protein. So you do get some protein from this milk, but hardly any carbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fluid ounces on. I'm going to measure out eight ounces. So you can see how it's getting, it's getting pretty frothy, it's getting thicker. But I'm just gonna do five milliliters of this skinny syrup into the milk. And honestly, you could do this as long as you wanted to get the consistency you want. I'd probably do it about Maybe a total of like two minutes, if that. I'm not really sure, I haven't really timed myself. I just kind of wait to see how the consistency is. If I feel like it looks good enough, then I go with it. Okay, I'm gonna drop some ice cubes in there. Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm just gonna pour this in over the top. It actually makes for a really pretty coffee drink too. It looks very aesthetic for a iced coffee. And then that's really it. I just get me a little straw here. Pretty good. And then this is my little Bible study setup right now. My iced coffee, my water, my study Bible. I've got a nice Kindle going and I'm about to look up my Bible study here on YouTube. It's 5.45 and I just got done with my Bible study. So I thought I would go ahead and prep what I'm going to be making for dinner. Since it'll probably take me roughly about an hour even though it says 25 to 30 minutes with prep and cook time. But I'm going to be making one of my home chef meals that I got for the week. 
I decided to go with the apricot mustard glazed chicken with Parmesan fingerling potatoes. So this is what it looks like. This is a two serving portion. So usually I would make this for Cody and I, but Cody's actually at work today. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'll just take the leftover of this or the other portion of this. And this will actually be my dinner at the pharmacy tomorrow evening when I close. Estimated macros for one serving is 52 carbs, 25 grams of fat and 48 protein so this will most likely be the last meal of the day i am pretty hungry right now so i thought i would just go ahead and prep it but it comes in the little pack with all the ingredients just like all those other meal services they have it gives you all the ingredients you need for the recipe itself and then there are my chicken breasts but yeah, I'm going to just start cooking this up, prepping it. I'll probably listen to like a podcast or something while I do this and I'll show y'all the end product. Veggies are prepared, about to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna start cooking up my chicken on the stove top. Here is the final product. Apricot glazed Dijon mustard chicken thing and some roasted vegetables. And then I put the other half or the other portion in a Tupperware. So this will be my dinner for tomorrow evening at the pharmacy. That's gonna be it for my full day of eating. Um, it's a little past seven o'clock right now. And I just got done eating that big home chef meal and I am definitely full. I don't see myself eating anything else the rest of the night. Cause right now I'm about to get ready to go take a nice bubble bath and just relax and then just go ahead and get ready and get in bed and just call it a night. And that's really it. Um, you know, a pretty chill, lazy day, but sometimes that's just warranted and I feel like it was exactly what I needed. But before I close out the video, I wanted to give you a rundown of what my total daily macros that I tracked today were. It was 125 grams of protein, 160 carbs, and 83 fat. So a little bit under my protein goal and over my fat goal. I mean, I would say overall I'm pretty happy with these numbers other than the fat content. The fat is a little high. Usually I don't like to go over like the 70s in fat. So 83 is not horrible right now, but that definitely could have been adjusted. But this was good though because like I said, I haven't tracked anything I've eaten in like over two months or so. So I just wanted to get an idea of kind of what, how I've been eating intuitively and just to see exactly where my numbers would be if I actually diligently tracked everything that I ate and consumed today. So hopefully this gave you some ideas. I know a lot of people are searching for that kind of thing right now just because people are just getting bored with just like their food choices and really not knowing what to eat or cook. So maybe this video gave you some good ideas for that. Oh, one thing I did want to make a point on, so with the Home Chef meal, I actually did log it into my fitness pal, and I was able to find the exact macros of what was listed on that card, that face card that I showed you of the meal that I prepared. So I will say that I know it's like nearly impossible to really track that accurately, and in this case, I'm okay with that because again, I don't really have like a set goal. I'm not in a restrictive diet of any sort. It still gives you like an estimated roundabout numbers of what you are eating. Now, I could have been a little bit more accurate and actually weighed out my veggie portions, my chicken and whatnot, but either way, I, I know I'm aware that it's a rough estimate, so it could be more or it could be less of the breakdown of macros. But either way, I just did it just for tracking purposes and just for the purpose of this video because I was tracking everything. So just wanted to throw that out there. I know it's not accurate, so don't come at me. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I just wanna say thank you so much for tuning in and watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.